Hey guys, welcome to Mid Valley South Family Dinner. As you guys know, we usually do these the first Monday of every month in person, kind of as a family, as a community around dinner. But with our current circumstances, COVID-19, we all know that we can't do that. So here we are on our first YouTube family dinner. Maybe the last, maybe not. But uh, we got great things ahead of you and for you tonight. Um, family dinner is a time that we do two hours once a month. We train, we eat together, we worship together, we learn together, we study the word together. We talk about uh, reaching kids through young life together. Um, and then our second hour is we plan for club and, and plan for the year and do announcements. Um, so that's usually what family dinner is, but we're doing it a little different tonight. So also don't forget to um, subscribe to this YouTube channel. We're going to do some other stuff this month of April um, in it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to drop comments down below. I'm also going to have some links down below um, in the section, comment section for uh, good best practices, um, reaching kids, donation link, a couple camp links, um, just things like that. Enjoy the show, guys. Howdy, y'all. This is Carlos from South San Young Life. Now, I just want to encourage you and tell you, go get them. You. Yeah. Howdy. It can be hard to say goodbye, but sometimes you have to. And there are a few things I'd like to say goodbye to right now. It's time for another episode. Go on, get. Go on, get. Go on, get every company send an email out saying what they're doing with the coronavirus. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad everyone's being careful. At the Holiday Inn Express I went to in 2009 in Vancouver, British Columbia, on my way to Malibu, but I did not need an email telling me about the complimentary mini muffin bar being closed until further notice. Now go on, get. Go on, get in that spam folder. You understand? Go on, get. Go on, get. Go on, get seasonal allergies. Read the ding dang room. This ain't time for you to be showing up. Usually you're a minor annoyance. But now one sneeze and my whole family's changing into hazmat suits, making me sleep out in the shoe dang garage. So go on, get seasonal allergies and take pet dander with you. Go, go on, get. get. <laughs> Go on, get baby pandas. <laughs> nah, just kidding. You can stay. You're cute, baby pandas. You're so cute and cuddly. I just want to squeeze you and just give you a hug. So come on, come on back, baby pandas. Come on back. Go on and get. Go on, get hot bird sandwich from Noble Wave. Being all tender, hot, crispy, and juicy. I love those pickles. I'm getting in the COVID-15. It's so easy to order. You just go up, pick it up right front door. So go on, get COVID-15 pounds. Get, my belt's getting tired. Go on, get. Go on, get organic peanut butter. You ain't nothing but a dang swimming pool of oil. I gotta stir you around and around and around. Stir, stir, stir. Most Young Life campers are allergic to that anyways. That's a health code violation. Get. Go on, get. So go on, get, jeans. Was it being weak, who knows, of quarantine? My gray sweatshorts are the new business casual. All restrictive and scratchy and denim-y and whatnot. Go on, get, jeans. I said, get. And this has been another episode of Go On, Get. Thank you. <clears throat> My Uncle Chuck gave me these in Montana. Go on. Go on, get. Go on, get now. Go on, get. Here is our first big announcement. 
April 20th, so coming up in a couple weeks, we're gonna do another big online Young Life thing. It's gonna be amazing. You're gonna wanna stay tuned and see the announcements for that and you're not gonna wanna miss it. It could be more interactive, so we're doing it on Zoom. Um, everybody's invited, including families with young kids. And it's also gonna be a pledge drive to try and raise $7,000 for Mid Valley South Young Life. It's gonna be an amazing night and you're not gonna wanna miss this. Hi, Mid Valley South. Hope you guys are well. Um, my name is Jessica. I am the team leader for North Salem Young Life. And uh, Andy wanted me to just come on here and just sing a little bit. And I, I want to invite you guys to just worship in the freedom of your own home. I know this is a weird time, but something that we uh, get the privilege of doing is just worshiping freely. And so I want to welcome you guys to worship with me familiar song and I feel it's very relevant to where we're at um, in our lives right now just being reminded of God and his power you are here moving in the midst I worship you I worship you you are here
feeling confused, stressed out, um, just kind of like worrying about our kids. And I get that. And I feel that every day. But something is so beautiful about how he reminds us that we're doing exactly what we need to do and we are exactly where we need to be. Um, and he makes a way in this uncertainty when we don't know what's going on. He's making a way. In those virtual moments when you feel like you're just like behind the curve, he's making a way. He is reaching out to a kid or a committee member or a parent that is loving them in a way that we probably couldn't have done face to face. I hope you guys hear me on that. He will make anything possible if we give him the glory, if we give him our patience, if we give him our love, if we... <laughs> are obedient to what he's asking of us to do, right? Such a great feeling. So I pray right now for all of you leaders to look at those little things outside of all the big things that we do in a ministry. Look at the little things. The little things that maybe you've passed up in the past because they were insignificant at the time. Those are the significant things right now. He's telling us, stops working, he never stops, he never stops working, and even when we can't see him, he's working, and even when we can't feel him, he's working, he's never stopped, he's never stopped working, he's never stopped, he's never stopped working, he's way maker, miracle worker, Thomas keep light in the darkness, my God, that is who Love you guys. Hope you have a great day. What's up, Mid Valley South Young Life? Hope you guys are having an awesome week. I wanted to share this scripture with you guys. Discover creative ways to encourage others and to motivate them toward acts of combat compassion, doing beautiful works as expressions of love. Shout out to you guys for getting creative. Have an awesome time. Hey, as of today, April 7th, we are still going to camp. Super exciting. Uh, the price is going to be around $450 to $500. We're still trying to figure it out. But with that, we're really excited. And Canyon's right now happening. Creekside's right now happening um, until further notice. So let's continue to pursue kids, talk to them about summer camp, and talk to them about selling flower baskets. Hello, vamos a cantar Santo Espíritu, Holy Spirit.
here I am in the side of my yard by some flowers, which means we're gonna talk about some flower baskets. They're 27 bucks each, and each camper gets 13 bucks towards their camp price every time they sell one, also leaders. And uh, we still have, as Mid Valley South, 291 baskets yet to sell. So right after this, go ahead and start um, texting and emailing and Instagramming and FaceTiming and Zooming um, folks that would be super pumped about getting their mom a beautiful flower basket of some sort like that. Um, they can be Mother's Day, they can be birthdays, just because, happy summer, happy social distancing, anything like that. These flower baskets are amazing and they're our best fundraiser to get kids to camp this summer. Um, we're all in. Let's sell 291 flower baskets by the last day of April. We can do this. Mid Valley South, what up? My name is Sky. I'm on Young Life staff in Eugene, Oregon. But way more than that, Andy Gaddich is one of my favorite people on the planet. In fact, right now, Clark Gaddich is the background on my phone. Uh, so I love the Gaddich family, love being in Young Life. And Andy asked if I would join you on this YouTube video just to encourage you about what it looks like to be a Young Life leader in this unique season. For me, social distancing has been the weirdest journey ever because it started off awesome. It was like a vacation where everyone kind of just understood we weren't going into work, clubs were off, and you could kind of just do whatever you wanted to do. But you can only binge so much Tiger King and start so many random projects and relax a bunch before you're relaxing and feels like you're in prison. And for me, cabin fever set in really, really quickly. And I realized the pace of my life has just been so fast. And so being forced to slow down a little bit, it's really difficult. And when everything's just been go, 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 having to slow down in this season has been tough to figure out. I'm realizing that I really miss simple things. I miss friends and restaurants and good coffee and going to a movie and a theater, just things that aren't socially acceptable right now. And then there are things that I just have taken for granted, like making really good food or having moments where nothing is happening or reading or just not being dependent on everybody else to keep my attention. It's easy to kind of lose all those simple things in life. I just started the three-in-one uh, Devo with some guys yesterday. And so we've been doing that. And I was amazed that even as we were reading that, it was talking about the Bible becomes so familiar that people who don't even read or believe the Bible know the words. And so it's easy to miss how surprising the news is. And isn't that true? I mean, we're doing clubs online and even videos like this or our churches on Sunday morning are meeting online. So we can stream the best speakers or the best worship. And yet it's just not the same as being together. And so the, in those times, I know that our students can feel super distant. We can feel super distant. But even in our own lives, God can feel really distant. The things that have always made us feel connected aren't available right now. There's a story in the Old Testament where God has a covenant with Abraham, who's Abram at the time. And it says that uh, God calls out to Abram and he says, don't be afraid. I am your shield. I'm your great reward. And in the very next verse, Abram responds to God by saying, oh, sovereign God, what can you give me? You see, I still remain childless and I don't want my inheritance to go to someone else. It's this really interesting dynamic where God says, Abram, I got you. I'm your shield, I'm your reward. And Abram responds by saying, yeah, but what else? There's all these things I wanna do. There's a legacy that I wanna live. How can you help me get that, God? You see, Abram doesn't get it. God is the reward. And I think that's the entire story of the Bible and, and our entire stories. God continues to pursue after us and promise us that his rewards are the very best. But we're so distracted by our pace of life. We put our hope in other things. We miss the reward of who God actually is. And when we're forced to slow down, it's easy to question, is God even there? Because we've been looking for God 
and all of these other things. Another one of my favorite stories in the Bible, one of my favorite dudes in the Bible is Elijah. And there's a point in his life when Elijah is posted up in this cave and God calls out to Elijah and says, what are you doing? And Elijah has this great script planned out for God where he, he says, God, I, you know, I've been keeping the covenant. I haven't been one of the ones that turned away and I just want to see you. And so God tells Elijah to go out into the mountainside so he can pass by. So Elijah goes out into this mountainside. And when he gets out there, this tremendous wind comes over the mountainside and it breaks apart everything. But it says that God was not in the wind. And then after the wind, there's this earthquake and the earthquake rumbles the whole mountain that Elijah's standing on. But God was not in the earthquake. And then after the earthquake, there's this fire that just erupts, but God was not in the fire. And after the fire, the Bible says that there was a low whisper. And when Elijah heard it, he knew that it was God. You see, the expectations of our lives can be ridiculous. We expect God to show up in all the ways that we think God should show up. It's easy to miss the simple ways that God is being, being revealed, even in this time. Even in a time when we have to slow down, when we're not distracted by a million different things. And as Young Life leaders, it's easy just to go at a pace where we go club, events, contact work, the school events. But is God speaking to you in this season? Have you developed the habit of looking for God in all of the big things that we do to fill our days and our time. Because the truth is, there's nothing that separates us from God. Not sin, not death, not quarantining during the COVID-19 time. God is available, not just in curbside pickup, but right now where you're at. A lot of us have just moved, been moving way too fast to experience that. These are weird times. It can quickly feel super isolating to be in a different routine. And, and we have all the normal conveniences that we're used to unavailable. But it's also a great time to reset, to develop better habits, to find God in the slowness of our lives. My prayer for Mid Valley South in this season is that each one of you would lean into the slowness of this time. It's easy to want to create. It's easy to want to do a lot of things in ministry. But would you respond and listen to the small whisper of God speaking in your life? Would you embrace the slowness of this moment to say, we get to be the body of Christ that brings Jesus to the rest of the world. And this is what we're good at in Young Life. We've never invited them to come to our thing. We go to where they're at and tell them about the God who's already with them. I believe in you guys. I'm in it with you. And I know that Eugene Young Life will be praying tonight for Mid Valley South. Keep doing great work. And may every kid in Salem know that Jesus is right there with them, even in this time. All right. Go on, get. Wait, three, two, one, action. Go on, get. Good job. Now say it one more time, really slow. Go on, get. Mm-hmm. <laughs>